Stan Gerbalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. A viewer recently asked me how much a half-wave dipole degrades in performance, how rapidly it degrades in performance as you move away from the resonant frequency for receiving applications only. In other words, suppose you want to make a half wavelength dipole just for receiving and you want to use it on some other frequency besides its resonant frequency which would be uh, well say 66 foot long antenna 33 feet on each side would be resonant on about 7 megahertz but as you depart from that frequency uh, the antenna will not perform as well because it's no longer matched properly to the receiver. No longer matched, that is, unless you use a transmatch. A balanced antenna tuner and a balanced line are ideal, although you can use an unbalanced ordinary transmatch and coaxial line to the antenna. You wouldn't want to use a ballon here if you're operating at any frequency besides the resonant frequency of the antenna, though, because the ballon will become extremely lossy. Nevertheless, uh, even if you did use a ballon and the ballon did become extremely lossy and the line, coaxial line, did become extremely lossy as you depart from the resonant frequency. If you employ a transmatch here, then you can match whatever impedance you get pretty much within reason to your receiver. And this can be a low power transmatch, such as the type you might purchase uh, for QRP uh, transmitting. And it doesn't have to be an, a balanced output. Ideally, it should be a true balance transmatch but of course if you do that you can transmit just as well as you can receive on the antenna but he he wanted to know how much the how rapidly the antenna degrades in performance as you move away from the resonant frequency and I honestly cannot say I do not know it will not work as well say uh, if it's resonant for 40 meters 7 megahertz it will not work that well on 25 kilohertz for receiving. Nevertheless, if you have a sufficiently broad-banded transmatch or tuner or a preamplifier here, you can still connect it to a radio designed to receive at that low frequency and, and get reception. Um, because when the performance of an antenna degrades for reception, not only does the signal strength go down, but the noise level received from outside sources also goes down. So if you replace this transmatch, say with a preamplifier, you can still use it with your radio or you can have a frequency converter or anything else like that. But actually, uh, you need not worry if you use open wire line that much about how much the efficiency of the antenna will degrade, provided that you have a truly balanced transmatch, such as is offered by Palstar Corporation, going to your radio. Then, um, on transmit or receive, as long as you can match the thing, you can get pretty good results even down to a total length of only a quarter of a wavelength. That would be an eighth of a wavelength here and an eighth of a wavelength here. You can get pretty good performance for transmitting. For receiving, though, this can be much, much shorter. And um, as I've said, these uh, lengths can be only a few feet maybe only five or ten feet and you simply tune the transmatch until you hear the loudest signal and noise that you can get in your radio. Um, if, you, if, if it's not loud enough 
you can put a preamplifier in front of the radio and make it louder but of course it has to be a good preamplifier that doesn't degrade the signal to noise ratio I I don't know um, though how much an antenna's performance will degrade how rapidly it will degrade as you go off frequency all I do know is that I have used extremely short antennas I remember using a 20 meter vertical antenna um, with a good ground plane a lot of radials designed for 20 meters that means it was only 16 and a half or 17 feet tall and using the appropriate preamplifier and converter I was able to receive on frequencies as low as 10 kilohertz yes that's right 10 kilohertz with that antenna coaxial fed antenna obviously its efficiency was horrendous but I made up for that simply by means of a preamplifier in front of the radio and um, the preamplifier also served as a transmatch of sorts so you can overcome this on receive uh, just about anything goes as long as you can amplify and match the impedance at the radio the efficiency of this thing beyond the transmatch is not of great concern you're not going to try to transmit into it you're not going to have to worry about overheating the, the uh, line you're not going to have to worry about arcing uh, between the conductors of the line or any of that business um, you're just going to have to be able to hear the signals and if they're not loud enough a preamplifier will do the job just fine that's just sort of my take on the situation is I don't know the theory but I have tried this kind of thing in practice and it will work Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73. And so long, which, in my native fist, transmitting or receiving, CW always translates to da 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 da.